Griselda versus Funk Flex. What's that about? Find out next. What's poppin' is your boy Mike Powers. What is the beef between Griselda and Funk Master Flex? Well, we're gonna talk about that today because this time Funk Master Flex may have finally stepped in it and met his match. If this is your first time on the channel, thank you for clicking this video. Thank you for joining the family. If you like the content that you're about to see, don't forget to smash the like button and also subscribe to this channel and share it with your people. Subscriber shout outs is coming up at the end of this video. So stick around as we get deeper into this Funk Master Flex Griselda rift. But before that, I'm unveiling a brand new segment today. Right now it's called the Check in with Matt Stacks, the homie from Norway is going to jump in and let us know what he's feeling, what he's listening to, and what's on the horizon for you real hip hop heads. So let's get right into this check in with Matt Stacks. Hope you enjoy it. If y'all don't recognize the accent right away, Matt, why don't you tell the people where you're from? I'm from the Arctic uh, regions of Norway, actually, all the way over in Europe. Over in Europe, where it's icy and cold. How y'all doing? on this lockdown quarantine? We just doing the best we can, really. Avoiding each other and drinking for the most part. <laughs> we, we talk about Norway now, and this, this music that we are all so in love with, this community, tends to be more East Coast, underground flavor. So how is it that you came to, to love this music so much? I, I, it always kind of just uh, gravitated towards me. I never had this this one song or this one artist I fell in love with. It always kind of just came to me. So my entire life, I've been kind of reciting hip hop, you know? There we it's, go. So this is authentic. This is organic. That's why we brought them to the table uh, to get that perspective far away from these grimy streets in America. It's a very knowledgeable cat. Hey, but so Matt Stacks is going to be here periodically dropping in and letting us know what he's checking for in the hip hop scene, some some underground gyms that you or me may not be aware of. Uh, Matt is always on the case, and he's gonna be bringing us uh, that input from Norway. So Matt Stacks, let's get right into it. What are you checking for right now as we speak? I'm checking for that that drumless soul loop beats. You know the thing that Rock Marciano been pushing for ten years, that torch, that Griselda kind of taken over right. and there, there's this producing cat from montreal in canada really called nicholas craven yeah you probably heard the one with ransom the director's cut because i remember you played one of those but he just released uh last night actually a director's cut two nicholas craven ransom director's cut part two all right now i heard directors cut the first one which Where? the whole thing was banging does it compare to the first one I, I think it's I, to, to me it was more vibrant it was more colorful it was more it, the beats were richer and ransom was in his pocket and it what? was I, and i just played it front and back four or five six times last morning oh. yeah now is there any special instructions that goes along with listening to this particular project do i need to be focused do i need to be alone do i need to be smoked out all of the above. <laughs> all of the above. Just do all of them. And he got two tracks with Ito on there. He got one track with Shea Noir on there. Ito is on this joint? Two tracks with Ito. Wow. What, what else you got for me? I got another one which released last night. I uh, know uh, yesterday too. Uh, Quelle Chris from Detroit uh, made an album with Chris Keyes. He's from North, Northern Ireland, I think. I don't know too much about him. But Quelle Chris has been doing his thing for 10 years. And Chris Keyes, you said, is from Ireland? Yeah, I think it's from Northern Ireland or something. You got a white guy? Irish or some shit. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> with the J Dilla that look like me in Ireland, bro. With the J Dilla beats. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I'm definitely going to be checking for that. That's going on my list. Everybody out there listening right now, make sure you got your notebooks, your pen, or your phone out where you could take these notes because from past experience, I can tell you when Matt Stacks put you on to something, you could take it to the bank. Matt Stacks, that was a perfect way to introduce yourself to this audience. We love having you on the platform. Thank you for dropping these gems, and we're going to see you next time, bro. Thanks for having me. It was a pleasure. It was an honor. And until next time, YouTube, see you later. All right, Matt Stacks in the building. And we back. Thank you, Matt Stacks. Let me know what you think about Mr. Matt Stacks in the comment section because that is set to become a recurring segment on this show. So West Side Gun has been having an incredible run as of late, as is the case with the entire Griselda. From dropping 
WWCD, what would Shane Gunn do to the Alchemist, Conway Joint, Lulu, Benny's album, and now Pray for Paris. He jumped online to talk to Rosenberg about the process of making the album, including finally getting that much coveted solo joint with DJ Premier. What makes this song special is I had COVID when I made it. That was the last song I made. The album was done. I put up a clip of one of the songs from the project. But what happened was all the blogs start going around with this track list because they start seeing, you know, Joey Badass, Tyler the Creator. Oh, he got Rock Mercy and Gibbs on the same record. Oh, he got one with Wale. Like people start seeing those names and then Primo read up on it and was just like, wait a minute, the <laughs> album done and I'm not on it? You know, of course, since day one, I always wanted a Primo record and it took me eight years to finally get one. Respect to do for showing Primo the respect that he deserves. And then he went on to talk about the actual process of making the song Sean versus Flair. I hit him back not even 30 minutes later with the whole thing recorded. You know what I'm saying? And like, did you tell him that you've been sick or he didn't know either? Nobody knew. Nobody knew. I didn't even want to tell nobody. It was just like I didn't want nobody to feel bad for me. And I, like, So this dude made the song while he was struggling with complications from COVID-19 and turned that joint out in record time, got it right back to Preem so we could be blessed with it on this masterful art project called Pray For Paris. But it wasn't that long ago that the three top members of Griselda wasn't feeling the love from the mainstream, so to speak. Like, like for example, like when we did that Funk Flex freestyle, but I feel like he was just like looking kind of crazy, like he wasn't aware, he wasn't you know, fully respecting. We was killing that. We was, was even. Was yeah. I don't fuck with flex. I'm. Y'all you know, want something you know juicy? I'ma say that on record. Oh, I don't fuck with flex. Make, oh, make that the headline. I don't give a fuck. What he <laughs> gonna do? Go nothing. Man, that, that nigga ain't gonna do nothing. Shots fired, or should I say, do 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 do. Hey, what? the fuck is going on with Funkmaster Flex and Griselda? Is it possible that Flex listened to these dudes freestyle and didn't fucking get it? Hey, full disclosure, I got on this Griselda bandwagon after watching that Funkmaster Flex freestyle and I said, who the fuck is these dudes? So maybe Flex didn't give them the respect that they thought they deserved. I didn't notice that. I mean, Flex, when he hears some crazy bars, you know how do react. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, bruh. So what is Wes and Conway talking about? Well, let's examine the evidence. Snatched the Louis off the rack soon as I came on the store. I'm a shady individual with a shady import. I run through your whole team like Shady McCoy. Ah. Ooh, ooh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Seven, one, six. Yeah. Okay, that was a little bit subdued when listening to Earth Shattering Bars, but that's just a snapshot. Let's dig a little bit deeper. And this time, I just want you to watch Flex and don't watch Conway. Watch Flex. Oh, got me signing contracts for max numbers. Might count the money on Instagram like Black Youngster. You little whores, my bitch don't like Michael Carr. She like the y'all. Might send her to buy the store. I write the raw offensive lines. I'm Michael All. Pen glide across these foul lines. I'm Michael Jordan. I like the bra. I slide my big knife across your windpipe and tall. What you fucking with a cycle for? Oh, uh, I just wanna provide you with the grimiest music all summer to ride to. I don't do the sneak dissing, boy. I'm coming to find you and empty in my gun. And slide through, you know it's real when all the real niggas running behind you, and all the top record labels wanting to sign you. My uncle said, "Boy, stay humble." I tried to, but you know when it's your moment, it's just something inside you. I mean, a wig shot in my neck bled. I still became the best rapper alive on my deathbed. Did you see that? Now that's a little bit of an odd reaction based on number one, what we heard right there lyrically and the way Funkmaster Flex usually reacts to people that's not nearly as high level lyricists as these guys. Did somebody shoot this nigga up with Thorzine or is this nigga legitimately hating? Let's get a real focus view on what's really going on with this dude. Shadows for the cabbage, I'm a savage like Calvin Got your loved ones tied up on the mattress Like, look at me, Junior, who's the crummy motherfucker now? Then I shot them all just to show them I don't fuck around The year I'm having extravagant, isn't it? They heard my last and now they have to revisit all my classics and listen No other rapper been half as consistent Now they mad in the distance cause they was lacking the vision I'm from the hood like them, pissy mattress is flipping Now they all in their feelings and acting like bitches a hundred shots if I'm actually tripping Catch me with action, eating gourmet meals Fuck, that is delicious I got a young bitch, ass fat is delicious But trust me, if I want, I can have me delicious <laughs> What up, baby? You see us 
What up, baby? I see you, delicious. West Side Gun, Conway. So let me get this straight. The LeBron and Kobe of lyrics is sitting right next to you, pouring their heart and soul out, dropping straight heat. And your reaction is... It's mind blowing. This dude's supposed to have his thumb on the fucking culture. Now maybe, and I'm just speculating that maybe they came in, Griselda in there, in that studio on a different kind of vibe. Maybe Flex felt like he didn't show them the, the, a proper amount of respect, but still as a professional, as a journalist, when you get cats like that inside the studio, sitting right next to you, ready to light the whole industry on fire and you can't do nothing more than act unaffected. You sitting there looking like your accountant is telling you that you can't can't get all them deductions. What the fuck is going on? And so, yeah, now I can see why West ain't fucking with Funk Flex. Because he was clearly on that bullshit. Salute to Griselda. Because this ain't the first time I'm quite sure that somebody has doubted their talent and their ability. And one thing you don't want to do is underestimate the lyrical genius of Conway and Benny. Or the business acumen of West Side Gun. He bet on himself. And now he's winning. I don't know if Funk Flex has come out and responded to what West Side Gun said, but my advice to him, as a person that don't even know Flex and really don't care to, leave that one alone, son, and start dropping some bombs on more of these bangers, and maybe you get back into the good graces of West Side Gun, because clearly, he don't give a fuck now, never gave a fuck before, and ain't gonna give a fuck tomorrow. Tell me what you think is really going on with Funkmaster Flex as it pertains to Griselda down in the comment section. I'm very interested to hear your thoughts. And real quick, before we get out of here, a lesson for all you cats out there, never underestimate your opponent. If you've been missing out on the brand new boxing and UFC matches that was supposed to go on during quarantine and you haven't been able to get your fix, I got something for you. Check this out. I'm Crank it on. Give my fucking phone. Oh. Give him his phone. Oh, nigga, the thing is phone. Give him his phone. Crank it on his right phone. phone. Yo, kill him. Oh. 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 Grab your phone. Grab your phone. Oh. Oh. Grab your phone. Oh. Oh. Hey, dude, did you just get slept by a straight up crackhead? Did I just... <laughs> <laughs> that shit. And yo, what the fuck is a crackhead doing with a tactical vest on, yo? What what he got in that? What he got? He got grenades and chore boys in fucking pockets, yo, man. Hey, I just thought I would bring that to y'all. Hey, man, when was the last time you saw a Cuba Gooding movie? <laughs> is Cuba Gooding a weirdo? I'll be hearing he be jumping in people's parties, taking off all his clothes, dancing around other dudes. He got these uh, unwanted touching cases coming up on him. It's me too shit. But then Ari Spears, who worked with him on the movie, Jerry Maguire thought it was always something off about this dude. I remember when we did Jerry Maguire, Cuba showed up in a truck. When you hit the horn, they made a police sound. <laughs> okay. Whip, whip. Number one, red flag. <laughs> Cuba got a truck with a police horn on it. Who does that? What back is this dude coming out of? Why in the hell would you as a black man want your truck horn to sound like the cops? Yeah, that's fishy. I just wanted to bring that to y'all. Hey, but let's get into these subscriber shout outs real quick. Thank you all for subscribing to this channel. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. That's real. And we went from looking for 100 subs to going over 300. At the time I taped this, we at 305. Let's push this up to 400 if you can help me out. Thank you so much. New subscribers, and these are just the subscribers that I know about. Some of y'all, y'all subscribe and it doesn't really show it to me because y'all keep that private. That's cool. But for those of you who made your subscription public, The English Cut, thank you for joining this channel. Dango Fairlane, thank you so much for subscribing to this channel, homie. Wes Winfield, I see you, what's popping? Thank you. The club killer DJ Spin, what's happening, partner? Gary Scott, what's popping, son? And Franco, I'm not gonna try to pronounce your last name. It's on the screen, y'all can read it. Thank y'all for subscribing to this channel. Thank you for clicking this video. And don't forget to turn on your notifications so you'll know every time I drop a video, cause I'm dropping heat at least twice a week on this platform. Other than that, I'm Mike Powers. I'm out.